Today we're going to talk about area of sectors and segments. Area of a sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is a region of the circle bounded by two radii. So it's a fraction of the area. So over here we have this sector that is highlighted. So that would be a sector. The formula for determining the area of a sector can be written as following. So the area of a sector is equal to x degrees over 360 times pi r squared. So of course, x degrees is the measure of the arc. And of course, r is the radius. We can also write it as um, x degrees over 360 is equal to the area of the sector over pi r squared. So the part of the whole over the part of the whole. So let's go ahead and practice. We want to find the area of sector AOB. So we know that the angle AOB is 80 degrees, which means this arc measure is 80 degrees. And so if we want the area of the sector, that would be equal to 80 divided by 360 times, and because we're doing area, the area formula for circle is pi r squared. So pi times 10 squared. This is um, similar to, of course, when we found the arc length, um, but the arc length, notice we were using the circumference formula 2 pi r, and this one, again, we're using area pi r squared. So for this, we have 80 over 360, which is 2 ninths, times 10 squared is 100, so 100 pi. So when you multiply, you end up with 200 pi over 9 square inches because the radius is in inches. And when you're doing area, remember that you always want to square that. And we're going to leave our answers in exact form for now. You could, of course, plug that into your calculator and find the decimal approximation. So for the next one, so this was the sector that we were finding. So for the next one, we want to find the area of sector APC. So APC would be this sector over here. And given that BC is equal to 48 meters, so that means that, um, of course, if that's 48, then the radius would be 24. So the area of the sector is equal to, um, we need to figure out what this CPA angle measure is. So CB is a diameter. So because CB is a diameter, remember that means that um, that adds up to 180 degrees. So angle CPA would be equal to 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, which is equal to 135 degrees. So this is 135 degrees. So the area of the sector would be 135 divided by 360 times pi and then 24 is the radius, so 24 squared. So 135 over 360 is 3 eighths times 24 squared is 576 pi. And then if you multiply and simplify, you get 216 pi, and this is meters squared. So that would be the exact area. Looking at the next one, we want to find the area of sector AOB. So AOB would be this area right here. So for this, we are given this angle right here, which is an inscribed angle, 65 degrees. So remember for inscribed angles, the angle is equal to the <clears throat> arc divided by 2. So in this case, 65 equals the arc, which is AB. So AB's arc divided by 2. 
So 65 times 2 is 135 degrees. So AB is equal to 130 degrees, which means this angle is 130 degrees. Now that I have that, I can go ahead and figure out what the area of the sector is. So the area of the sector is equal to 130 divided by 360 times pi r squared. So our radius is 54 centimeters, so 54 squared. So this would give us 13 over 36 times 2,916 pi. And when you multiply that and divide, multiply that by 13 and divide by 36, you get 1,053 pi centimeters squared. All right, so for the next one it says, given that the area of sector AOB, so again, this is the sector, so given that that area is equal to 27 pi square inches, what is the diameter of circle O? So we're going to have to solve for the radius in the formula. So the area of the sector divided by pi r squared is equal to the angle over 360. I like using this formula better when I'm doing these types of problems. So the area of the sector is 27 pi square inches over pi r squared equals the angle is 120 degrees over 360. So we can um, cancel out the pi's here. So we have 27 over r squared equals, and 120 over um, 360 would be 12 over 36, which of course is just one third. And we can cross multiply to help solve. So 27 times three is equal to r squared times one. And 27 times 3 gives us 81 equals r squared. So take the square root. Remember, you take, when you take away an even power, it's plus or minus the square root of 81. So that's plus or minus 9. But we don't use the negative when we're talking about length. So we're going to use the positive r is equal to 9, which means the diameter would be equal to 2 times 9, which is 18 in inches. Since the area is again square inches so that means that the radius would be in inches all right so the segment of a circle a segment of a circle is a region of the circle bounded by a chord and the included arc so right here would be um, this shaded piece would be the um, segment that we are looking at so that's called a segment not to be confused with the sector. So if the radius of the circle C is 12 feet and angle ACB is 90 degrees, so it's a 90 degree angle, we want to find the area of this segment. So of course to find the area of the segment it's going to be the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So when we subtract those two, we are going to get the area of the segment. So that means we need to find first the area of the sector. So the area of the sector is equal to, the angle is 90 degrees, so 90 over 360 times pi and r is 12 feet, so 12 squared. So this gives us 1 fourth times 144 pi, which is equal to 36 pi. So that is the area of the sector. So remember that would mean the area of the sector is this entire region here. So that's the area of the sector. And we're going to now find the area of the triangle. So remember to find the area of the triangle, it's one half of base times the height. So in this case we have one half. The base of course is the radius of so 12 
and the height is also the radius, which is 12. So that gives us 1 half of 12 times 12, which is 144, divided by 2 is 72. So that means that the area of the sector would be 36 pi minus the area of the triangle, which is 72. And of course, we were in feet for our measurement, so feet squared. So this would be the exact answer. And if we were to find the approximate decimal in our calculator, 36 pi minus 72 gives us 41.1 if we round to the nearest tenth square feet. So this would be the approximate answer. So let's look at the next one. Find the area of the shaded region. So if we want to find the area of the shaded region, we're doing the same thing we did in the last problem. We want to find the area of the segment is equal to, so the area of the segment equals the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So the area of the sector is equal to Again, we have a 90 degree angle, so 90 divided by 360 times pi and r 16 millimeters, so 16 squared. So that gives us um, 1 fourth times 256 pi. So that means that is equal to 64 pi. And now we need to find the area of the triangle. So 1 half base times height, so 1 half 16 times 16, which is equal to 128. So then we end up with the area of the segment is equal to 64 pi minus 128, and of course that would be millimeters squared. And if you were to find the decimal approximation, that would be 73.1 millimeters squared. All right, so once you pause the video and see if you can do this next one on your own, when you're done, on pause to check your work. So we want to find the area of the shaded region. So notice that that is everything except for that segment. So we can figure out the area of the entire circle and subtract it from the um, segment area. And another way you could solve is by finding the area of the sector that's on this side and add that to the triangle. So two different ways of solving. So let's go ahead and do find the area of this sector and we're going to add it to the area of the triangle. So the area of the sector um, we'll call this, I'm going to put another variable here, so AOBX I guess we could say So for this sector, we have, if this is 90 degrees, then that means the angle over here would be 270 degrees. So that would be 270 for x divided by 360 times pi, and then r squared would be 20 squared. So when we solve, we get 270 over 360, which is 3 fourths times 400 pi which ends up giving us 300 pi. And if we find the area of the triangle, that's 1 half 20 times 20, so that would give us 200. So that means the area of the shaded region is equal to 300 pi plus the triangle, so plus 200. And that is millimeters squared. And if you were to find the decimal approximation, 
That is about 1,142.5 millimeters squared. All right, so looking at the next one, the um, shaded region would be the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So for this one, the area of the square is equal to, of course, if the radius is 15, then that means that the entire length of this would be 30, and this would be 30. So 30 length times width times 30 is equal to 900. And the area of the circle would be equal to pi r squared, so pi times 15 squared, which gives us 225 pi. So the area of the shaded region is equal to 900 minus 225 pi. And of course that's millimeters squared. And if you were to find the decimal approximation, that is about 193.1 um, All right, so the next problem says a circular garden with a radius of 22 feet surrounds a rectangle fountain that is 11 feet wide and 15 feet long. What is the area of the garden? So we have a fountain that's rectangular 11 feet by 15. And a circular garden with a radius of 22 feet is surrounding that, so the radius is 22, and we want to find the area of the garden, which would be this outside area here. So in order to find that, the area of the garden would be equal to the area of the circle minus the area of the rectangle. So the area of the circle is equal to pi r squared, so pi times 22 squared, which gives us 484 pi. And the area of the rectangle is equal to length times width, which ends up giving us 165. So the area of the garden would be equal to 484 pi minus 165, and of course this is square feet. So that ends up being about 1,355.5 square feet if you find the decimal approximation. And that is all for our area of sectors and areas of segments.